Let's take a look how you can make this cube made out of glass squares here in Illustrator. All right, step one, we're gonna go here to the colors, click on the fill, make sure it's on the black, so I'm gonna swap it with this uh, arrow. Now the top is black, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill, so it's gonna be on the top. I'm gonna select the rectangle and create a rectangle like this. Now I'm gonna go and select the free transform tool, and here we got the new panel, and we're gonna select the perspective distort. Now we're gonna go to this anchor point, bring it up, make it stretch it out, and I'm gonna create a new copy, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right. Now I'm gonna select the first one, I'm gonna go and recolor this with this blue. By the way, this is the hex code for the blue color. Now I'm gonna select the second one, select the second color, this is the hex code. Let's go and right click on the second rectangle, go to arrange, and click on send to back. Let's select both rectangles, go to the object, blend, make. Now let's go and double click on the blend tool, select specified steps, I'm gonna decrease it to 10, and click OK. Now I'm gonna go and double click on this rectangle, and now you can select it, and you can see I can move it around, but I'm gonna press until Shift plus Alt and scale it down, and bring it in, double click release, and I'm gonna go to the object, expand, click OK, a right click, on group and I'm gonna go and select the top rectangle go to the opacity and I'm gonna decrease it to 5% let's go and select the second rectangle this is gonna be 10% third one at 5% more and so on and so forth and the last one is gonna be 60 now I'm gonna go and select the black color select the rectangle press and hold shift plus alt create a rectangle right click on the rectangle go to arrange send to back and it's gonna look something like this. I also can select the second rectangle from the back and increase the opacity a little bit more and make it pop better. And this is how you make this cube illusion here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.